Hi guys, uh, here I am in the Boeing 747-400 simulator and a number of you have been asking me to do a uh, demonstration of an uh, automatic landing on the Boeing 747-400. The Boeing 747-400 we're in today is the passenger version that Cathay Pacific operated for many years. So this is the setup that this aeroplane had and we could still do an auto land uh, in the 747-400. The current aeroplane that we have is a Boeing 747-400 ERF and the Dash 8, which also have auto land. And for the most part, everything is identical on the ERF and the 747-8 as well. So the first thing we have to do when we're preparing for an auto land is obviously get the weather. And on the weather, they will tell us usually uh, most airports internationally everywhere else will say, low visibility procedures are uh, in force as part of the weather report that they give you the terminal aerodrome forecast so that will tell us LVP is in force when they, when they tell us that of course then we have to do our own checks on board to make sure we can actually operate the flight into this airport and we're qualified to do it and the airplane also has the right equipment to do it so the 747-400 did have that equipment so we check that we both of us are qualified. I'm with Peter here, and Peter is doing a quick filming of this operation. He's doing a good job so far, right, Peter? Anyway, so there's a whole checklist we go through, which we have in here. We make sure we have that. The other thing we do, of course, is that's important, is to check what our minimums will be based on the weather that we're given. And in Cathay Pacific, we have what we call a port page. And it, the port page tells us what we can do and what visibility we can do. So for example, we're going into Anchorage today, runway 07 right, and catch 3B is what we're going to do. For the Boeing, we've got zero feet, radio altimeter, and we need a touchdown zone visibility of 600 feet, midpoint 600 feet, and the rollout of 600 feet. That's what we need for the 747, for example. So what we're going to do is we've already got set that, the radio is set to zero, okay which is what it says on the port page the next thing of course is now to confirm that the visibility the rvrs that they're giving us at least match up to 600 feet 600 feet 600 feet and we'll have got that from the atis the atis is telling us that the current visibility is 600 feet 600 feet 600 feet in all zones so we're good to go atc will give us a clearance and where we are right now is approaching anchorage if you show them where we are runway 07 right there's the nd that's the airplane symbol there and we're approaching the localizer we're going to be turning right and heading to land on that runway there that's where we are right now okay so we've already done a brief we've set our minimums and the next thing we do is do the uh, descent and approach checklist which we have already completed we're currently at 250 knots and we've been cleared for the approach. We'll be starting to slow down and also intercept the localizer. So on my chart here, I have the Anchorage 07 right in Alaska. Okay, so we're coming in about there to intercept and turn right and go in and land on 07 right. That's where we are. So I'll put that there, we've done our briefing. So I've got my approach, it's all set we're ready to go now so i'll just bring the speed back a little bit to start configuring the airplane for the approach so i've selected that so the speed is coming back and shortly i'll be asking for flaps one with the autopilot we've got the autopilot engaged it's in command on the right hand side it doesn't matter which one at the moment but once we get on the approach and we get all three autopilots engaged, all three lights will come on, indicating that we're good to go for the automatic landing. So I'm just about to uh, release the aeroplane and it'll be on our way. Okay, so we're on our way now. And uh, flaps one, please, Peter. Speed check, flaps one. one speed is coming back 
and then the next thing I make sure on the ND we've got India Alpha November Charlie so that's correct 074 we're 24 and a half miles away I'm going to arm the approach so up here approach press that so the approach is now armed and you notice all three other pilots have now engaged so flap five please speed checks flaps five and we're slowly approaching the localizer there there's Tully and we're going to be turning right outside it's all foggy as you can see it we're in fog we can't see a thing localizer look it's just captured the look and you can show that so the airplane's in a turn to track inbound now for the localizer which is where Tully or Tully is I don't know what they call it actually is it Tully or Tully? Tully Tully <laughs> there you go bring the speed back the airplane is slowly intercepting the localizer and will adjust and track inbound flight okay. slope moving check Flaps 10, please. Speed checks, flaps 10. Okay, we're now on the approach. We're just about to intercept the glide slope. Watch what happens on that. There you go, glide slope green. Check. And we're now descending on the IMS glide slope. configuration at the moment we've left 5,000 feet on the approach is flaps 10 degrees on the localizer on the glide slope and we're going in for a category 3b which with zero decision altitude which means it takes us all the way to the ground Cathay 081 you're cleared to land on 07 right yeah. clear to land on 07 right and we're on our way approach the uh, PM is heads down monitoring the speed localizer glide slope rate of descent and also monitoring the glide slope uh, and the localizer so that's what the PM is doing throughout the approach doesn't look up it's just looking to make sure that everything is on track and nothing is coming out of the way he's also monitoring of course anything that comes up on the upper ICAS any alert or warning that might come up which means we may need to discontinue the approach at the moment we've got nothing that's telling us we can't continue the approach. So we're approaching 2,500 feet. I'll be calling for flaps 20 in a minute and putting the gear down. Flaps 20. Speed checks, flaps 20. Get down, please. Get down. Lights off. Yeah, lights off. So gear is on, on its way down there. It's in transit. The gear is now down. I arm the speed brake by pulling that there to arm and it shows there speed brake armed. There you go. So it will automatically deploy once the main gear touches down on the ground. And we're going to make this a flaps 30 landing. Flaps 30 please. Speed checks, flaps 30.
1,000. Stable. So throughout this, the PM is heads down. The captain is also heads down, monitoring. Yep. Localizer, rate of descent, tracking. It's very important to be monitoring all those things because you're you're going towards the ground. You can't see anything. You've got to make sure the instrumentation is giving you the right data and right information. Is five hundred. Check. Check. It tells us we're getting closer to the ground. If you're a pass, if you were a passenger on a passenger airplane like this, and as it was, you wouldn't be able to see anything outside. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed break up. Speed break up. Show them the rollout. Rev green. See. You can just see the center line there, can you see? Yeah, just see the center line. And if you look on the BFD, it's got a rollout indicating there. That means it's maintaining the center line very nicely. 60 knots, cancel the reverse. And then the pilots now have to look out to see what's the best exit they can use to get off this runway. As we get below 60 knots, I disconnect the autopilot I'm now in control to be able to taxi the aeroplane and get off the runway. So I'm looking out to see the first exit that I can use. There's one just gone by, which I cannot use because it doesn't have the green and yellow lighting on it. So we have to continue taxi until we see a, a taxiway that is designated a runway exit taxiway with green and yellow lighting. So let's have a look, let's see. Here's one, see that? It's green and yellow, you can just make it out. So that green and yellow means we can, it's available for exit in low visibility operations. The speed is all the way down to 15 knots and we're slowly exiting the runway. just leaving the runway now and when the lighting changes to all green don't know if you can make it out but if it changes to all green we can then advise ATC runway vacated there you go about here I would then say to ATC cafe 081 runway vacated request taxi and in most cases you could ask, actually ask for a follow me vehicle, as we call them, and the follow me vehicle will come up and uh, take you to the parking stand. And that's about it. So that is an automatic landing completed. We're safely on the ground. Follow, follow me to the stand. We're done. Later.